Thank you, Don. Now we're following up on a story we've covered for nearly two weeks now. The Jordan Bridge remains closed following that Wheel of Raider plant fire in Portsmouth. A large conveyor belt which moves trash caught fire more than 10 days ago. And crews have been working to get that bridge back open ever since. Penny of your side's Amy Avery is live in Portsmouth with an update on those efforts tonight. Amy? Well, Tom, Wheel of Rainer's team just wrapped up some work on this large conveyor belt that stretches across Elm Avenue behind me. They're ultimately working to take some of those large pieces off the conveyor belt so they can get the road back open to traffic underneath. It's been more than 10 days since a conveyor belt at the Willebrader Portsmouth Waste to Energy Facility caught fire. Portsmouth Fire says an employee noticed smoke and everyone was able to get out safe. Since then, the Waste to Energy Facility, which processes more than 2,300 tons of trash per day, has been working to remove some of the damaged parts from the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt extends over Elm Avenue on the Portsmouth side of the Jordan Bridge. The Jordan Bridge has been closed to through traffic for 11 days now because officials believe it's not safe to drive under. But the bridge is still open for shipyard traffic and for some of the businesses accessible from the Chesapeake side. We've remained open on the Chesapeake side to support the um, parking areas of the shipyard and the local businesses that are essentially landlocked from this situation. Wheelabrainer says they received some of the big equipment they needed for the project today and they're on schedule to receive cranes. Once they get the cranes, they plan to work safely to bring down sections of the conveyor belt and the enclosure that were damaged in the fire. They say reopening the road for the community is a big priority for them. South Norfolk Jordan Bridge General Manager Kevin Crum says the closure is causing more congestion in the downtown tunnel, so they hope to get it back open soon. These things, you know, we understand they take time, but um, certainly this is a major economic impact and a traffic impact to not only the businesses, but also the residents here in Portsmouth. Now, Portsmouth Fire says they have turned the scene back over to Wheelabrator, so they don't have an update on a cause at this time. But in the meantime, Wheelabrator says they are processing trash, but at a reduced capacity. We'll have much more on this story tonight at 6 and at wavy.com. Live in Portsmouth, Amy Avery, 10 on your side. Thank you.